Smath here, new video series, this one, Stoichiometry 1. Here we're going to be looking at the quantities involved in chemical reactions. The first one we're going to start with is called a mole-to-mole -mole conversion, because we're going to be given moles in the question, we're going to calculate moles in the answer. The way we do this is by using the stoichiometric coefficients. These coefficients in a chemical reaction tell me how much H2 I need for how much N2. <coughs> respectively. So, our first problem says, how much NH3 can I get from 5 moles of N2 with excess H2? <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm going to start with the 5 moles of N2 that are given. Then, in my reaction, I'm going to classify what do I know and what is my unknown? What am I looking for? So, this one is usually the given or from or how much I have. I have 5 moles of N2, so I put a little K right there up above that. Then it asks, how many NH3s? My NH3s are there. I put an unknown over that. Now, the setup for this is real easy. Start with the number you're given. Nothing goes on the bottom. Then, set up a ratio here. That ratio is simply your unknown coefficient over your known coefficient. So I use 2 moles NH3 for 1 mole N2. 5 times 2 gives me 10 moles of NH3. That's how much I can produce given 5 moles of this stuff. Let's look at another one where now the known and the unknown are on the same side of the equation. The known and the unknown can be anywhere in the equation. It doesn't matter. We're still going to treat it the same. In this case, now we have 0.5, a half a mole of H2. So H2 has to be my known variable. How much N2 do I need to react with all of this? Take the 0.5 that you're given, nothing on the bottom, and use your coefficients. Create a U over K ratio where we have 1 mole of N2 over 3 moles of H2, 0.5, multiply it by 1, divide it by 3, you should need 0.167 moles of N2. These are the heart, the middle, the center of all stoichiometry problems to come. So take a few minutes, make sure you understand your knowns and unknowns before you get started. I'm Smath, I hope this video helps you.